Welcome back to Craftardia. Today we shall be restoring this shitty castle. Look how shitty it is. And this isn't even that bad. You'll know once you visit it yourself for the first time. Please keep in mind that this is a crafting project on an irrelevant save file and I'm using god mode and infinite settlement objects for convenience purposes. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start restoring. My first goal was to add floors to the entrance. The plan was to cover the entire front side of the castle with raised floors because there was a lot of shit on the ground that I disliked. I must say that these floors were the biggest pain in the ass ever, even worse than those shitty light boxes from the billboard. I started placing the floors over the entrance rubble and also used little floors to fill in the gaps on the sides. Once that was done, I added wooden walls on both sides. I feel like this was a pretty good start, everything fit very nicely together, except for a little piece of rubble that was sticking out through the ground, but that could be ignored. I spent the next 5 minutes placing the floors inside of the castle and eventually got stuck in the corner and the radiation storm decided to slap me in the dick. I got myself out and started placing walls on the corners to prevent possible residents from falling in the gaps. I wasn't able to add floors to the corners of the castle because the game doesn't let it happen. I carried on with placing more floors inside the castle and once I had about 4 sevenths of the castle floored, I decided to add some stairs to it. For some inexplicably idiotic reason, I took the small stairs and then connected them with the two-step stairs so I'd be able to go up and down. Much simpler way of doing things was to take the normal stairs. They would snap right into place. I realized this a bit later. I continued filling the gaps on the sides with little floors and walls, which was a bit annoying since snapping in the game has its own mind. Afterwards, I had this brilliant idea to connect the castle wall with the elevated floor using these big stairs, but I was too stupid to figure it out so I decided to leave it for later. Now I decided to go on the opposite side of the entrance, the second area of the castle that got wrecked at some point in history. I wanted to make a platform that would be used as a guard area, but first I needed to wall off the inner area. I placed some walls and then I wasn't sure how to make a gate. I tried placing a normal door, not sure why I thought that would work, but then I went to the fences and put a proper gate and then finished building the walls on the other side. I was reasonably satisfied, but then I needed to place floors on the other side. I wasn't able to build a platform without straight flooring. It took a bit of delicate fuckery to get the floors to align properly, but I eventually did it. I placed a guard post facing the sea and walled off the surrounding area. I must admit that this area right here was the most annoying spot in the entire castle. I wanted to choke myself with the water bottle I had next to me when I was placing these walls. Placing these walls lasted 3 minutes, but to me it felt like 3 months. Once I was done, it looked like shit, but it was good enough. The opposite side had a gap in the wall, and I tried to close it, but I realized that my nerves couldn't handle any more walls for the time being, so I climbed up the rubble and decided to add more floors, this time on the castle walls. I wanted to completely cover the stupid hole that served no purpose, and I actually managed to do it decently with the help of little floors. This was the castle wall on the side of the entrance, so it seemed rather important. I didn't like that the entrance area was so close and easily accessible, but then I started being annoyed by the fact that my entrance wasn't nicely set up. So I went down and thought about adding stairs to the entrance since the floors were raised. I added the normal stairs that snapped very nicely to the floors. It started looking pretty cool if you ask me. I went ahead and started inspecting the situation with the inner side of the castle and noticed how this right area had a passage right under the floors that I built. I added little floors to cover the edge and I figured out how to properly place the stairs. I really don't know what made me think that this idiotic stair design was acceptable for my castle. Then I went back to that little passage and I realized that the best thing to do here would be to add a bit more elevated floors so the floor hall towards the passage is bigger. I hope that makes sense, I'm not sure how else to explain what I wanted with this. Once I added those floors and replaced the stairs, I went to the other side of the elevated floors where I attempted to build walls on the edges. After a bit of fuckery I managed to place a nice corner wall. I immediately continued placing walls on the other side, the side with the passage. There was a lot of fuckery on this side because I didn't want everything to look shitty. The most annoying thing was the fact that I was half a floor too wide to nicely snap the wall. I have no idea why the devs didn't add a one block wide wall that could snap to this big one. It fucking infuriates me and I want to bash their heads with the pip boy because of this. But it's cool, I figured it out. I added the walls despite that one fucking block sticking out on the side and I considered that little area as some sort of a balcony. This balcony idea carried on with the rest of the elevated floor edge and I added the fence across the entire floor. 
I was reasonably satisfied with my elevated floor area and once I went down to the ground on the inner side of the castle, I really wanted to add normal lower floors, but these nests prevented me from doing that. I don't understand why can't we simply get rid of these damn things, torch them until they turn to ash or something, but no, they need to be here and fuck everything up. You might consider my slight obsession a bit much, but I'm talking about this after already creating my castle, and these nests continued fucking me multiple times and I hate them. After failing to do anything useful, I went back up to the elevated floor and deleted the additional walls that separated the rest of the area with the balcony, and I decided to have a short break. The eggs drove me nuts. After clearing my mind, I noticed that this guard post area still had that gap in the wall, so I went and created a few floors and walls on the other side to prevent any possible passage. This process took a bit of time because I couldn't snap things properly, so adjusting the floors and walls was irritating as usual. After finishing that, I walked across the castle wall towards the entrance area and I noticed that I do not have any stairs that lead up to the wall there. So I went ahead and placed stairs that would allow anyone to go up the wall shortly after entering the castle. Since I'm really bad at everything in this game, this stairs design took 38 years to complete. Once done, I really wanted to add floors to the castle wall area right next to the entrance. It just felt really naked, but since floors didn't want to snap to the ground, I added the fence. Yes, I added it on the opposite side, I'm aware of that, but you should keep in mind that I'm really stupid sometimes. I continued placing the fence on the edge of the castle wall and then I ran out of floors and I wasn't sure do I want to continue placing the fence manually on the edge of the castle, so I just didn't do it. I went towards the area where the castle collapsed and I wanted to build a floor and things actually managed to fit together relatively well. The elevated floor kinda connected to the normal floor that I already created and then I added two step stairs so everything became fluid when walking over it. Then I finished the fence and since there was a little gap that I wasn't able to fill with the fence, I added a cigarette machine. Now since the elevated floor nicely fit, I decided to continue expanding on it on the other side and added the fence as well. When I finished adding the fence, I asked myself, why are you so incredibly idiotic? I asked myself this question because this was originally a wall that connected to the other side of the castle. So logically, I need to connect the two areas as well. So I deleted a few fences and added a floor that served as a bridge to the other side, and of course added the fence. I gotta be honest, I didn't expect that I would be able to place this many elevated floors on this side of the castle, but I was glad it worked out nicely. It ended up being pretty much perfect, every single floor fit, so I decided to celebrate with a guard tower in that particular corner, and then I fenced off that area. Since this corner of the castle wall wasn't accessible to the elevated floor on the inner side of the castle, I went and added stairs to connect the two. My arousal from the previous perfect floor placement quickly turned into irritated agony due to me not knowing how to bring objects back and forward using the gamepad. I don't know why I didn't simply switch to using the keyboard and mouse. I guess I secretly enjoy irritated agony of base building in this game. I was eventually able to connect everything properly and fence the area so people don't fall to their deaths when going up and down. Continuing the building of the elevated floor on the castle walls, I really tried to add more floors to make the transition to the dirt ground easier, but I wasn't able to do that so I added a few stairs that actually fit very well. The same way my fist is going to fit into the face of whoever decided to add base building to this game without adding a bigger variety of structures. There were still three sides of the castle wall that needed to be fixed and now you shall experience the true suffering that these motherfucking nests brought. I wanted to start fixing things from the side that had the guard post right above the castle entrance, so I began adding floors to it. As you can see, the nest didn't allow me to place the wall in the hole, so after finding a position that allowed me to do so, I actually fell down the side of the castle. You can imagine this annoyed me a bit, but it wasn't a big deal. It was my mistake. When I went back up, I actually started fencing off the area that I decided to leave previously and added more floors. There was another fucking nest here that was right next to the guard post and I had a lot of space left on both sides of the post, so I wanted to adjust the position of everything so the guard post nicely fits, while also being able to fence the entire area properly. I managed to do it with the help of a few little floors. Once I was satisfied with the position of the guard post, I went ahead and added more floors following the castle wall. When I got to the corner, I fell down again. Don't worry though, this didn't really upset me. It didn't, I swear. 
I went back up and added a lot more floors, it actually felt really nice being able to flawlessly add this many floors again. Since this corner of the castle had a hole that had an entrance to the inner side of the castle, I left it open and added stairs that would lead up on the floor. Things started looking pretty good and I went and added the fence to the edge of the floors. Since I encountered another hole on the castle corner, I wanted to fill it up with elevated floors like I did with the rest. I started placing them and I fell down again. No problem, I managed to place a few additional floors and went fencing off the entire side of the castle. The fencing led me towards the area that I actually started flooring before I fell down for the first time. I tried to place more floors again despite the nest and guess what happened? The game allowed me to build more floors, so I managed to completely cover the hole and then I fenced it off as well. Since this was another hole with an entrance, I added stairs that connected that entrance to the elevated floor. As I went along the castle walls, I added the fence where it was necessary and eventually ended up on the opposite side of the castle. Here I realized that I didn't create a bridge that connected to the other side you know, a bridge over the main entrance to the castle. So I started adding the bridge and I was pleasantly surprised that everything ended up being just right, thanks to the little floors. Then of course, more fencing. I went back down to the entrance and I decided to add a double metal door with a couple of walls on the side. This seemed pretty decent for a post-apocalyptic castle entrance if you ask me. The only annoying problem was the gap between the bridge and the doors. I just don't know how to fix that. I wasn't really sure what else to do at this point, so I added a big shack on the elevated floor right in front of the entrance to the guard post in the collapsed wall area. I made myself think that I did that because I believed that the shack had a back door that nicely connected to the entrance, but that's bullshit, I was stupid to place this here. Afterwards I walked around the castle and noticed that one of the castle wall corners didn't have any defensive buildings set up, so I added a big guard tower on the edge that overlooked the only entrance to the castle. Now I went back down to check how the shack looked like from the inside and noticed that there is no back door. I promptly deleted the big shack and replaced it with two small shacks on both sides of the guard post entrance. Since I wanted them to fit perfectly, adjusting them took a bit of time, but in the end, it looked quite nice. And that is it, my castle restoration process was complete. The entire castle wall is now fenced off and improved with a lot of floors. The inner field of the castle has a nice and flat elevated floor with two shacks and two staircases that lead towards the castle wall. The collapsed wall is now a guard post area with a bridge above it that connects the two sides of the wall and the collapsed entrance now has stairs leading to an elevated floor that has double metal doors. The next step would be adding food, water and power to make this castle livable. Perhaps I will make another video doing that. Let me know would you like to see that. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.